Thank you, Rabbi Ghana. We'll open the floor to questions now. I'll ask, please, that you identify yourself and your affiliations. Rabbi, I'll turn this over to you. Rabbi Ghana, I'll ask you. Yeah. Yes, sir. Greg Clark from WHUR. First question, are you all right? I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay, my second question is uh, the recent release of the uh, two Frenchmen in Syria, and it appears that Syria is being used as sort of a I don't know, a scapegoat and a favorite child now and helping to release so many hostages uh, being held in Lebanon. Do you see that their influence will play more in the role of the Middle East now? I uh, fear so, yes. I'm afraid that, uh, what Ron, that, that what Ronald Reagan has done is a step that is so serious, so incredibly serious. What he has done is, is first of all, undercut undercut any attempt by Great Britain or this country to counter terror. But more than that, as you say, Syria and other nations, Iran, Syria, that, that block, has now gotten the prestige within the modern Arab world. The modern Arab world has now learned that it pays to do what Syria does, or Iran. It pays. And that's the tragedy. You don't bomb Libya. Libya is a minor, a very, very minor partner in this uh, gang of, uh, in this gang of uh, three. Syria and Iran, if we're not ready to use every possible means against them, then what will happen will, will be that they will become the leading countries, the leading states in the Muslim world. And that's what is happening now. Yes, you're right. Do you see, do you see that um, 